Because if we, if we question, if we wonder, if we're really investigating, then even the biggest mistake is actually our liberation. I think it was Suzuki Roshi said in his book, Zen My Beginner's Mind, if you're practicing, even if you go three miles in the wrong direction, there's no mistake. Commenting on that, even if you go three miles in the wrong direction, there you are. What needs to be done? What's happening right now? And I think for most of us, when we look at our lives over the sweep of our life, we can see that in some ways the most interesting and important moments in our lives are right when we've messed up, right when things fall apart. In that moment of them falling apart, we can learn, we can see, we can get a taste of our own true nature. Because what we've done to sustain that ego state hasn't worked. Saint Master Sung San used to say, a good situation is a bad situation. A bad situation is a good situation. The bad situation is a good situation is just what I'm talking about. In that moment of struggle, we can wake up. We're required to pay attention. We have no choice. We all crave the good situation, but a good situation is not as helpful for our practice because we can fall asleep. It can actually strengthen that egoic I, because I did it. I'm good at this. And then we lose the fact that it's not about I at all. And what we think it was that helped wasn't even it. And then we cycle back down. So last point, in Buddhism they say that the only place we can change is in the moment. If we're not present in this moment, then our past conditioning rules the show. And we just continue on the same path we've been on. And it's like, my hand is going like this, it's like a, what is it, a hamster in a wheel. We just keep going around and around and we don't get any. But if we wake up right now, if we're aware and present right now, then we can see, we can hear, we can smell, we can taste. Truth is actually apparent all the time. It's always here. It's not far away. It's not something that you have to journey a thousand miles to find. It's right here. But unless we have our attention right here, we're dancing around it and never seeing what's right in front of our eyes. So when Zen Master Mangan, our great grand teacher, was asked, where is the Buddha Dharma? He responded, right in front of you. The student said, you say right in front of me, but I can't see. I can't see it. Mangan said, you have I, so you cannot see. Then the student said, Master, do you see it? <laughs> he said, if you make I, you can't see it. But when you make you, it's even more difficult to see it. So drop I, drop you, and the Buddha Dharma is right here. <laughs> 